Welcome, and Laharaga. A pleasure to see you here in Bilbao ahead of your fight against James Metcalf for the WBA Continental Super Welterweight title. Firstly, just tell us how you're feeling. Yes, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling stronger than ever. I'm really good at this weight. I'm one kilo out now from my weight, so I'm enjoying breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I just can't wait for the fight to come around now. You last fought in December here in Bilbao. How proud does it make you to be fighting in Spain with the title on the line? Yeah, so it uh, gives me huge pride to be fighting for my, for my people. In front of my people here, as I said before in the, in the press conference, everyone that's bought a ticket, you know, and is going to be coming to the fight is an extra motivation for me, and I really can't wait now. A lot has changed since your last outing. You've trained here for six weeks and then made a move out to Vegas to train for eight weeks. What brought about that change in team and location? So yeah, I made uh, a change to my corner, to my training team after the Jez Smith fight. Um, you know, it changed my life around. Um, but I go out to enjoy myself, whether I win or lose, it's still the same. You know, if I, I just always look to enjoy myself. If I lose, tomorrow will be the same. I'll take my daughter to school, I'll see my friends, I'll go out and have dinner with them, so nothing will change. And how much more confident do you feel then with a fresh team and a fresh environment? Yes, yeah, so I feel better, I feel more comfortable, I feel more motivated than ever. Your opponent then, James Metcalf, he's called you a friend. Tell us a little bit about your relationship with him. Well, James came to play sparring with me in 2019 when I went to Welter. And from the sparring with the ones I've had, I've joined another one. Yes, so James is a, is a good friend. He came over to spar with me in 2019 when I was down at Welter. Um, and out of all the sparring partners that I've had, he, he is the one that became a friend. Um, he's, you know, extremely um, close to me in that sense. You know, I took him out. And I went out with my family with him. And I've said to him, we've been messaging each other prior to this fight, and we've said that, you know, win or lose, whoever wins on Friday will still be friends and will remain friends. Metcalf has had a tough 12 months, a loss to Kieran Conway and Ted Cheeseman respectively, but a win in his last outing in Manchester against Evgeny Vazem. Do you feel like there's more pressure on you being in better form than he is? So no, I don't think there's any pressure on him. You know, I've also got two defeats in my career. I've got two uh, KOs on my record. So you could say that my record is worse. Um, and, you know, I'm down at a lower weight. So you know, I think it doesn't really come into it the, these records. And having shared a ring with James Metcalf many times, then what type of fight are you expecting Friday night? Well, no, uh, yes, yeah, so as I, you know, uh, it's a point of reference, but you know, I know that he's a warrior. Um, when he was here three years ago, I had a completely different team around me, um, so it was difficult to kind of to take anything from that. Um, but I know that he's strong. He's a warrior. He's going to come in and he's going to put on a good show. He's the seventh British fighter that has travelled to Spain to try and beat you. How do you ensure he's the seventh British fighter that you beat on home soil? I think that maybe you know Eddie Hearn doesn't doesn't like me. Wants to send someone to try and to try and beat me. But you know, at the end of the day, this is going to be a war, and, and we'll do what we need to do. A win on Friday night puts you closer to Jamal Charlo, and I know you've spoken about facing Liam Smith, another Brit. Without overlooking Friday night, what do you believe is next for yourself? Para mí solo está mi cabeza está James. Lo demás me da igual. So right now. James is the only person in my head. I can't look beyond that. Kermale Haraga, muchas gracias. Thank you very much.